Now we're going to learn a second way of solving systems of equations. Let's say you have these two formulas. You have x plus y equals 3, and you also have negative 2y equals negative 16 minus 3x. Now you know from previous videos that we could line up all of our x's and line up all of our y's and line up all of our other numbers and then multiply this top number or this top equation by 2 and then add it together and then blah 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 blah. Yes, we could do that. But the point of this video is to show you another way to approach things. And the reason I'm picking this other way is because I'm looking at this equation right here and that equation just looks so nice and simple, doesn't it? X plus Y equals three. I could very easily get either the X or the Y by itself. In this case, I'm getting the y by itself. I subtracted x from this side, I subtracted x from the other side of the equation, and I get y equals 3 minus x. To me, that's easier than lining everything up. Once I have done that, then what I do is I go to the other equation, not the one I just picked here, the other one, and I rewrite it negative 2y equals negative 16 minus 3x but this time, every time I see y, instead of writing y, I'm going to write 3 minus x. Why? Well, because I can't. y equals 3 minus x. So I could write 3 minus x if I want to. And guess what? I want to. So here we have negative 2 times 3 minus x equals negative 16 minus 3x. Now all we have to do is solve for x. So negative 2 times positive 3 is a negative 6. Negative 2 times negative x is a positive 2x equals negative 16 minus 3x. Now I want to get my x's on the same side of the equation. The easiest way for me to do that is probably going to be to subtract 2x from either side. That's going to give me negative 6 over here equals negative 16 minus 5x. Okay, add 16 to this side, add 16 to this side. That gives me 10 equals negative 5x. Divide by negative 5, x equals 2 negative 2. Hello, pay attention. Okay, watch those negatives. x equals negative 2. So now I can go back to that first equation, x plus y equals 3, and now I can put in negative 2 for x. So it's negative 2 plus y equals 3. To um, solve, I'm going to add uh, 2 to both sides. So I get y equals 5. So according to this method, I get x equals negative 2 and y equals positive 5. To check it, I would pick a problem and I would um, plot these numbers in here and make sure that it equals, which it does. So with the systems of equations, you have two options. You can add. That's one way to solve. Add the equations, I should say that. And the second way that you can do it is you can substitute. So you find either x or y and then you substitute that in to, to an equation. Either method will get you the exact same answer. So you can have a favorite that you always do or you can pick the one that floats your boat at that time. It doesn't matter, you will still get the same x and the same y.